Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this star. I've made it in four different sizes. With this one, using 8 ply wool, it's 14 centimetres by 14 centimetres or 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches. This medium star, made using 4 ply crochet cotton, is 9 centimetres by 9 centimetres or three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And this small star, using pearl number eight crochet cotton, is seven centimetres by seven centimetres, or two and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. I'm not sure what ply cotton this is, but it's only slightly smaller than the eight ply wool. The star, I'll use this silver crochet cotton. I'm not sure what ply it is, it doesn't have a ply on it. And I've got a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, and scissors. Now I start in the center with a magic loop. For a magic loop, I put my hook on the yarn and bring the short end over the top of the hook, and then take the long end over the short end, and then Put my yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn in through the circle. And that's my magic loop. Into the circle I work two chain and 15 double crochet. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet you put your yarn around the hook, hook into the loop through the front and then you bring back a loop, yarn around the hook, take your hook with your yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook and hook with your yarn through the remaining two loops. That's a double crochet. We need 14 more double crochet. Once we have our 15 double crochet, we pull our circle tight, so we take hold of the tail and ease the circle in. And then we slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. So this stitch here, just on top of the two chain. For a slip stitch we put our hook in through the stitch, bring through a loop, and take it through the loop on our hook. For row two we start with two chain and work two double crochet in the same stitch as our chain. And then we work two double crochet into each stitch around and we'll need 30 double crochet. So two double crochet into each stitch around. So 
So I'll continue working around this row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Now I've worked two double crochet into each stitch and I have 30 double crochet. Now I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first double crochet. For row 3 I start with 2 chain and work 1 double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. I work two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one into the following stitch. And I repeat that all the way around the row. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one into the following stitch. And by the end of the row, I'll have 45 double crochet. You need to make sure you've got the 45 double crochet so you've got the right, right amount of stitches for the star rays. So I'll continue around the row, working two double crochet into the next stitch and one into the following stitch. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, we join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Now we're going to start on our sun rays. So we start with two chain and then we work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. We don't work a double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. So just a double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. Row 2, we start with 3 chain and turn our work over and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the first 2 stitches. For a joined double crochet we put our yarn around the hook, our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through 2 loops. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook, Hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the remaining three loops. And then we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And then we work a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three, we start with three chain and turn, and we work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a joined double crochet over the last two stitches.
For row four, we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch. and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and we're going to work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches. For a double crochet cluster we put our yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the first two loops. We've got three loops left on our hook, then we put out the yarn around our hook, hook in through the next stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. We've got four loops left yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops and then we fasten off and that's the first sun ray done. For the second sun ray we join in the same stitch as the last stitch from our first sun ray so this stitch here and we work two chain and then work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and we work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. Mm -hmm. 
For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a joined double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row five, we start with three chain and turn. And we work a double crochet cluster over our three stitches. and fasten off. And that's the second ray done. I might just weave in my end so it will make it easier. Now the next two sections are worked the same as this last section. We join our yarn in the same stitch as the last stitch from our last section and work two chain and then work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn our work and work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet 
over the last two stitches. And for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work a double crochet cluster over our 3 stitches. And fasten off. I'll just weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll do the next section. For the next section we join our yarn into the same stitch as the last stitch from our last section. And work two chain and work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. For row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches one double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches This silver cotton is like working with string, it's quite difficult. I think it looks a lot better live than it does in the photos. And then we work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with Three chain and turn. We work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row four we start with three chain and turn and work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet cluster over our 3 stitches. And fasten off. And I'll just weave in those ends to make it easier for you to see. And I'll be back and we'll do this last section. Now for the last section 
we join in the same stitch as the last stitch from our previous section. And work two chain and work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches. The last double crochet will be worked in the same stitch as the first double crochet from our first section. And the rest has worked the same as the other sections. So for row 2 we start with 3 chain and turn and work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One double crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. and work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row four we start with three chain and turn and work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn and we work a double crochet cluster over our 3 stitches. And fasten off. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back to show you the finished star. And there's the finished star. I'll be putting a little circle of felt on the back to make it into a finger puppet for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. 
If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.